everybody, it's Kelly, and I'm back with the Two Page Tuesday layout. And this is a story about a run that my sister, brother-in-law, and I did on Thanksgiving Day. And you can see I chose that green paper, and I just flipped those three photos from the right side of that page to the left. And the reason I did that is because I want to be uh, though I want to be running into the next page with those small photos versus um, running into my bib number there. And now I'm trying to figure out what to do for these three photos on the next page. I'm thinking I want to use that orange paper, um, some sort of pattern paper, and I like the blue because I'm wearing a blue headband, well, a blue headband below my turkey headband. <laughs> um, we think, you know, we always do this on Thanksgiving Day because it's just fun and silly. But I'm not liking like the blue, I'm not, like the blue on that card that I found that says thankful for is wrong for any of the blue papers I'm finding right now. And I am liking, I did find another piece there that had some of the green in. My brother-in-law is wearing green and I like how the green kind of works into the, from the left page to the right page as well. I did have those turkey stickers that I was looking at. Um, I'm also looking at like grabbing some enamel dots, those kinds of things as well. So I think even though I've got this zoomed in pretty closely, you will be able to see what I'm doing. I'm going to leave just a little bit of a border on that page there. I like the idea of giving it a little bit of space between that page and the page next to it. And just grabbing, I've got the layout here, so I just grabbed it so I can make sure that what I'm telling you is correct. I only made this when I'm um, doing the voiceover for this. I only made this yesterday, but you know, hey, that was that was an entire day of work in between. So then I just, um, what I did is I just flipped the two photos there because of chronologically, I liked it better that way. So it's me running into the finish um, and then at the, it, those the two large photos are me um, high-fiving somebody that I know at the finish from who lives in the same town that I do and then um, also uh, me just with my brother and sister-in-law somebody took our our photo at the finish and my sister-in-law has her um, cute gloves on that say well they say run now eat later but you can only see her run now hand we both have, I have mine on too. You just can't see mine. And then they have a turkey. You can see mine has a turkey holding me a cup of coffee. And I like to include my bibs when I do runs because, you know, otherwise, what do you do with them? And I just think it's kind of a nice way to do that. The other thing, if I was ever to go back and look at photos, I like to wear my bibs on my leg and I can't always see them in the photographs. But when I um, include them on the page, obviously they're there. So I think that I'm going to use that leaf paper behind, but I'm still kind of struggling, uh, uh, the behind on the left page, I'm still kind of struggling because there's no blue in it. And it feels like the blue is kind of an afterthought right now. So I grabbed another pack of L Studio cards and I'm working with that. And then the other thing I'm doing here is I'm kind of trying to decide like how, uh, what I want my vertical measurement to be for that orange page. And so I'm just going in and I'm, you know, I'm just chopping things off. I think I chopped off the um, branding strip there so I could see a little bit better. Chop the branding strip off the back, piece, the back piece of paper. So, and sorry guys, but I hit my camera. So the green paper, by the way, is Echo Park My Favorite Fall and it's the Autumn Acorn Papers. That orange paper that I'm working with right now, and I did look at a couple of darker pieces and other, you know, plaids and that kind of stuff, but I really like the way these two papers work together, the orange paper and the leaf paper. And that orange paper is the same orange that's in my skirt in the next page and also in the big number on the on my bib. 
So that orange paper is Echo Park, my favorite fall, the four by six journaling cards, which are actually on the back of the orange paper. And then the leaf paper is the Cartabella Fall Market uh, Harvest Crate paper. And the Cartabella paper definitely has a different texture than all the other papers, but you're not gonna be able to feel it. So now I'm grabbing these stickers that I have, and these um, stickers are from Paper House. They're uh, 3D Thanksgiving stickers. So I like that turkey because, you know, we have turkeys on our heads, so I like putting them over there. And then I do like this Happy Turkey Day because it did take place on Thanksgiving Day, plus it has that bright, bright green that my brother-in-law is wearing, which will tie that whole page, even though there's no green in the papers on the left side, to the right side of the paper. And I do like to do that for something a little surprising. Sometimes when I do a two-page layout, I'll use the same paper papers from side to side, and sometimes I don't, like that's what's going on today. So now I'm seeing that yellow, and I don't mind the yellow of that card because there is yellow on the turkey on the next page. He's a little foam guy, and he's very dimensional. So I'm kind of liking getting that, and there's yellow, obviously, in the Happy Turkey Day sticker as well, too. But it feels like now, while I um, change my ATG in front of your eyes, it feels like now the, and I, I push the orange paper with my photographs and the Happy Turkey Day, and then it says Family Fun, I believe, on it, on that card. There's a lot of words up there all in the same place, and I don't like it when there's a lot of words all in the same place. I I don't know where I get that. I just do. I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of that personally. But if you like words, you go ahead and use them because it is your layout. And that's the most important thing, right, is that it's to our taste. So anyway, so there you can see where it's just too much. And again, it feels like I'm forcing the blue on that page because there's blue in my headband, but that's the only place there is blue. Well, that and there's volunteers there with um, and other people with blue shirts on. But it's it's not feeling right. And actually, <laughs> I just saw the sleeve of what I'm wearing. I'm actually wearing my hoodie that I got um, from that race, which you're not going to see. So what I did is the blue is still bothering me. So I went to my L Studio car LE Studio cards here and I grabbed this orange one. It works really well with the orange paper. Again, the colors of that orange paper is kind of like an ombre. And so that's the journaling card I'm going to read and or use, read. You'll be able to read it once I write on it. And I really like the way that looks because now you're seeing the photographs on that page and not the journaling card. And that's what you're seeing. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking the edges of that paper and I grab my Creative Memories Corner Rounder, which I love. It's I think it might be the only Creative Memories thing. Oh, I have a small photo trimmer too, 4 by 6 photo trimmer that I inherited from my aunt when she stopped scrapbooking. Well, I shouldn't say that. I have paper too, but tools wise, I think that's the only thing I have. So then I decided that this wasn't standing off the background enough, the orange paper, because the background is so busy. So I'm going to ink it with my um, my Tim Holtz tea dye, or not tea dye, vintage photo ink. And I just got my refill for that. So I need to um, definitely ink up that pad. Okay, so there we go, putting that down. And yay me for using stickers like this. I don't usually use dimensional stickers like this, but every so often. And what I do is I have a pack of, uh, um, you know, the, the Cropper Hopper envelopes I keep things in, my supplies in, my papers and stuff like that. I have a pack for fall slash Thanksgiving because they're often on the same layout stuff and I just put it all together so when I want to do a fall or Thanksgiving layout I just grab the whole envelope and that's what I do I don't have any more single collections of fall anywhere it's all together so then I added that gobble gobble because a lot of times we'll say first we do the run then we eat the pie kind of a thing so that's kind of a funny little aside in my family and then I grabbed that little um, Bella Boulevard family arrow sticker from the Hello Autumn Trinkets and also that um, Thanksgiving uh, sticker there, which is from the um, Bella Boulevard Hello Autumn Treasures and Trinkets. So the Trinkets is just the small sheet of their stickers. I don't even think they make them anymore. And then this Best Days, um, the Best Days Are With You sticker and the Thanksgiving stickers are from the Treasures and Trinkets from um, 
Hello Autumn, and that's a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So I just kind of like that there's a couple extra words here, but not up by the turkey day. And I'm okay with journaling up there because the journaling will be in a different color. So I had, you know, that pile of my embellishments that I have that I'm trying to use up. I had these uh, flocked enamel dots. They're the doodlebug matte sprinkles from the dog assortment. And I had um, two in green and one in orange. So I put the orange one on the right page and the two green ones on the left. And now I'm going to just add, just so that it doesn't look kind of weird that I don't have green and orange on both pages, I'm going to go in and add these orange enamel dots from Doodlebug. They're the Doodlebug Sprinkles in Tangerine. And I'll just kind of add those in. I'm, right now I have... Um, one in or yeah one of each so i have two per cluster here and then i'm thinking i want to add some green in there these are some sort of matte sprinkles but they have a different texture the green ones so i'm thinking i need to go because they're not the same flocked kind of or matte texture as the doodlebug ones because those other ones were freckled fun i decided i need to use enamel dots to work like with the orange ones better So eventually I decide that I like the green. The green there is a little bit off. I like the green here in these Doodlebug um, So Much Pun sprinkles. So I'm gonna use the green from that. And then I'll just add another one in to each of those clusters. I um, And then I'm gonna add orange ones up here. So like where there's green, I'm trying to add orange in and vice versa. Where there's a lot of green, I'm trying to add the orange in. Okay, guys, there you go. There's the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well, and I will be back with another layout again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.